Hello. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I can't say hello to you all individually, but you can wave at the camera for us. That would be great. Oh, there's my sister. There's Simon. Awesome. How are we doing? Hello, everybody. Just incredible. You guys have all come out to support this. Thank you so much. Wow, I think this is what we call a sold-out gig, people. Yeah. We believe it. So, we're going to start the show with uh, an incredible, well, three incredible musicians, but um, one of whom will be back later to sing with us. She's incredible. She's going to be performing with... Do you know? Does anyone know who's playing? Yeah. 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 So... Playing with her is Nick Burns and Nicole Collarbone. Will you please welcome Ebony Buckle?
it's very lovely to see you all. Uh, thank you so much for coming and seeing me and then Solstice, me, sorry. Um, <laughs> last year I performed, we performed here, um, and I'd just flown back from Australia and had a very bad jet lag. I arrived the day before and I was supporting Focus, but I came out and said, was anyone there actually at the gig? Oh, you'll know then. <laughs> I came out and said I'm so honoured to be supporting Solstice. Uh, so yeah, luckily everyone laughed at my jet lag joke, um, which I could once again make today, so that's been quite a um, useful joke. <laughs> anyway, I am supporting Solstice tonight, I'm very excited, and uh, yeah, this is Nick Burns. <laughs> Partner in crime, really. If you've listened to any of our music, this is the man behind all of the production. Um, and we have Nicole Collarbone, who is just <laughs> wonderful. So we're going to sing some songs for you. We're going to sing some old ones and some new ones. This next one is a very new song. Uh, it's called Jupiter Rising. And uh, the byline maybe is memoirs of a fox in London, because I was walking home in London one night, and a fox came and was trying to cross the road, and it was just about to run and a car was coming, so I yelled, no! And the fox looked at me and stopped. And then when the car went past, I said, now you can go, and off he went. And I thought, now we're best friends. Um, so we meet every Sunday for coffee. And, <laughs> um, but anyway, and the, it was late, and I just was thinking about a little fox running around in London, so this song is called Jupiter Rising. The existential crisis of a fox. We are so small and my heart grows. We are we are so small and my heart grows We are wild We are what we need to be We are what we need to be We are so small and my heart grows We are wild we are so small and my heart grows We are wild We are what we need to be We are what we need to be Jupiter's rising You are 
sing another song that's going to be on it too. It's called Ebony and the Monster. I probably should change that name so <laughs> it's not so personal. Um, but there we are, I've said it now. It's called Ebony and the Monster. Um, yeah, it's about, I guess, realising that that inner monster that sometimes is in your head might just be another part of you, sorry, another part of you that you need to befriend. And then you can win at life together instead of having a fight. <laughs> Anyone relate at all? Yes, a few. We're not alone. <laughs> I'll call it All of Us and the Monsters. It's a working, working title. She fell apart day by day and week by week in silence And in the dark a monster stirred and fed upon her kindness A blue tin frozen chorus shows and flowers in her hair She closed her eyes and held her breath and wished for it to care Looked 
One more new song, and then we'll do the greatest hits. <laughs> it's a bit rich coming from me, isn't it? I think she's already got greatest hits. Um, but that's right, you've got to believe in yourself, and then everyone else will follow, I guess. Um, but don't say I guess at the end of that sentence either, because that kind of <laughs> <laughs> takes the confidence out again. Um, we're going to sing a song called 900 Years, and I went to Ireland last year to the Giant's Causeway and I was reading this book about, uh, of Irish folklore. Um, if you do know my music, you'll know it's very much about space and fantasy and legend and myth. In fact, uh, backstage, some of the band members said I look like a space elf um, because of this. And I'm happy with that, actually. That describes me well. So we're going to sing a song called 900 Years. Um, it's based on the myth of the children of Lear, which is about um, a king in Ireland, and he had four children, a daughter and then three sons, and he married uh, a new wife, and she hated his children. Um, and so in order to punish them, because it was their fault, she turned them into swans for 900 years. Um, and not just like to sit on a lake, but they had to go out into the middle of the ocean and battle the waves. And then when they finally had the spell released, they were 900 years old. So they um, died pretty quickly, actually. <laughs> um, humans aren't actually meant to be 900 years, so. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm telling quite a flippant telling of this story. But um, yeah, it really touched me. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it.
from Disco Lasers. Uh, if you like it, it is out there. Um, and my beautiful friend Cherry is out there on the merch stand. And uh, I will come out, but probably not in interval because I have to go and get dressed into smart hippie um, dress code. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Wild Woman, here we go. Your 
crows that you send me Wild woman, please stay swiftly on with a song about an alien invasion. This is called Who Remembers.
Are you excited for Solstice? Me too. Um, I get to do a lot more dancing in that one. <laughs> you know, Barry. <laughs> um, but we're going to sing a, actually, quite a dance track. Dance track. Sorry, my brain turned off for a second. Well, you can say that. That's okay. I can say that. Yeah, right. It's not great English, but I'm going to sing a dance number for you now. This is a new song. We performed it a few times. It's called At the Edge of This Place. And it's kind of about that thing I was talking about earlier with Ebony and the Monster song, when you have that, um, sorry, whenever I hold a microphone like this, I suddenly think I'm in like a Netflix comedy special doing, you know, how they do that and they tell funny jokes. Um, <laughs> but that's not my job. Um, so, oh. huh? Just play the track, he said. <laughs> Oh, I think that's fair. They'll get it, they'll Let's get it. Let's play At the Edge of This Place. Oh yeah, that's what It's just a song for our inner critics to say, hey, why don't you just stop standing and moping in the corner and come along and join the party because it's actually quite fun. Uh, let's do it and let's just make sure that I've got all the right buttons pressed. Of this place there are tears They must be mine There's no one else here Nothing to do but cry then Nothing to do but cry At the edge of this place there are tears They must be mine There's no one else here Nothing to do but cry then Nothing to do but
Um, obviously, the choreography is still in progress. <laughs> but um, I forgot to tell you to also move your shoulders. So I hope, <laughs> hope you were. Oh, yeah. So this is our last song for tonight. Um, thank you so much for being so lovely. It's just, honestly, since I started singing with Solstice um, and supporting them as well, uh, they are just such a beautiful, joyful band and they've been so welcoming to us and kind of taking us on their journey. And uh, yeah, so that's what it means that we've got to meet all of you as well. Um, if you don't know me yet, thank you very much for sitting through it. I didn't know I said that. Um, <laughs> You might have been a bit um, surprised, but please do sign up to my mailing list. Follow me everywhere if you do the social media stuff. I've got merch out there. We've got an album and a disco lasers and a covers album as well. Um, and I have a Patreon as well, which is how we're funding our next album. So yeah, that's all the, all the things. Uh, we're gonna sing the title track of our first album, Disco Lasers. Um, Thank you so much for having us.
Skin.